It is back to work for mommy. Trying to get a head start or get my classroom set up. AJ down here with his toys. AJ say hey. Say hey. He's not very happy about having to sit down. AJ, go sit down. Go sit down. Hubby over there helping me out. He's actually doing all the work. <laughs> Hubby, say hi. Hello. Oh, I thought he was going to ignore me. <laughs> so, this is my wonderful office. And, yeah. As you can see, it's a bit of a mess, especially over there on that desk. So, we're about to tackle this room. And let's watch it transform. should say the shelves I got these so each one will be designated for um, a certain thing so like um, all of my notebooks and binders and whatnot for my blog will go in one of these and it has the labels so I have different sections on the um, on each shelf each shelf so get ready to put these up now all right, for my other categories, I couldn't find like the little the little wall packet pockets that you like hang on the wall and you just slide like you know envelopes and paperwork in. I couldn't find that, and the ones that I did see, um, they either came like with just two pockets, and it was like <laughs> twenty dollars, or it came with three pockets which is what I was looking for but they just cost entirely too much and I need 12 like 12 um, categories so I got the file folders with the um, the pockets so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to basically tape this side so that you know nothing falls out over here and then that way I have my pocket so I'll fold this back and then these will be on the wall so that way I can slip um, the different things that I need to use them for. So like one section will be for receipts. Another section will be for um, tax receipts. Another um, section will be like for um, the water bill. So that way I have all of my categories and all of my sections and everything goes in its place. And we don't have to dig through a pile of stuff to look for anything or you know where's that bill at how much was that bill where's that bill and then having to go and look for it and everything will be in its place so we're going to put this up and then start on that desk and get everything cleared off of it and in its designated place
road trip. <laughs> All right, well, we've been on the road now. Huh? Oh. I'm just talking. <laughs> I done took me a little mini nap. Stopped by the gas station to go party. I think that was the fanciest gas station restroom and, I've ever seen. <laughs> now, that's the truth. Because I said, oh, this is nice. Yeah. <laughs> we got AJ in here. See his little feet. Say hi, AJ. Gonna throw your hand up. <laughs> oh, we just picked him up from his grandmama's house and he was so happy and excited and just squealing and carrying on and eventually that sleep hit him so me and him were both knocked out back there so now my turn to roll so let's go <laughs> all right so we have made it our four hour drive to goldsboro north carolina so we're all dressed, ready to head to my cousin's wedding. Yay! Got AJ and the hubby there. Are they cute? They matching. Are they cute? I'm trying to get y'all to get a glimpse of my dress. Oh, you can't see it there. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> then AJ comes and falls. So there's my dress. Give me this. And my belly yep so the dress and the belly and AJ <laughs> AJ playing <laughs> tag <laughs> oh, I thought maybe that was a light okay maybe not all right well off to the festivities we go AJ come here boy AJ come here, come here. <laughs> Didn't know where he going. Hey y'all, it's the next morning, and um, I had a pretty rough night. <laughs> I didn't sleep very well. Um, yeah, my hotels are very noisy, and the AC unit like. It just made so much noise cutting on and off. And then you can hear like the other people closing their room doors. And, well, I should say slamming their room doors and <sighs> lights. I'm the type of sleeper that um, like the room has to be just completely dark. I don't like lights and flashing lights and stuff like that when I'm trying to sleep. It makes it harder for me to go to sleep. So, I didn't sleep very well. And then, um, AJ woke up twice through the night. Um, like one time, like, um, around 12.30ish. And another time around 4.30ish. Um, and then trying to get him settled with some work. So, we've gotten up and... Went down and had breakfast. So we ate breakfast and packed up. I took a shower to kind of feel a little bit better because I'm achy too. So we're getting ready to head out on the road. Hey y'all. All right, so my camera ran out of memory. So I'm gonna have to update y'all on our road trip and how the wedding went yesterday. It was great. So now we're getting ready to head out to a friend's um, gender reveal party. Yay! <laughs> so I have on my pink representing, I think it's a girl. Oh, AJ's waving. AJ has on his blue. Oh. Hubby has on his blue. Say hey. <laughs> Alright, so I'll update y'all, um, in a little while on everything since my memory ran out so we're about to head on out so had to take a break um friday the other day um from working on the office so back at it to get it all finished so you all can see the finished 
product. Okay, y'all. I got the office pretty much done. It's not absolutely perfect, but it's nice. Um, so my table with my photo albums and baby books. My printer shelf. It had a whole lot of random stuff laying everywhere. So it's cleared off. Everything's cleared off the file cabinet because it just had a pile of stuff. My desk, even though at first glance it still looks a little messy on camera, but um, it had a huge mountain of stuff. So I have um, my things here that I'm still that I'm working on and all my other little stuff there, my notepads and um, <laughs> my car that I want, even though they've changed the name, especially since it's not 2011 anymore. But I still want my infinity, my school calendar, and um, I gotta work on this basket here later on, but yeah, got my planner. Um, and then right here is where I have the files for all my different bills and other paperwork so that way I can just put it in there as I get them. Um, just to keep everything organized and then when I see there's things in there will remind me that, oh, I got a bill that needs to be paid. Or, um, this needs to be done. So yeah, and then my calendar. And then over here on this side the bookshelf that was falling apart so we got those three sections there which is finances household and baby records and so I have my notebooks and paperwork that's in those and then here I have ministry and blogging so I have all my binders and notebooks and paperwork for that and I gotta get some more um, of the the little containers there I don't even know what to call them but I gotta get some more so I can do my um my recipe books and the other stuff that I have down here and eventually I'm just gonna get a whole new shelf or real one because this one is real flimsy because I bought it because I was trying to be cheap years years ago yeah so everything over here just pretty much just got straightened up this is all my shred stuff. So our shred truck will be at um at our bank um next week. So we'll take all those things to get shred. Of course the plug is gonna be thrown away. So yeah. And got my little seating area here. The books over there on that bookshelf just straightened up. So yeah, so it's not, you know like absolutely fabulously perfect but it's enough for me to actually get in here and be a little bit productive more productive than what i've been able to be so yeah <laughs> y'all aj wanted to come outside and <laughs> i want to sit on those hard chairs because my chair that I have outside, spiders is on it, so. Oh, no, 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 no. So I backed the Durango in, so we sitting <laughs> in the back of the Durango. AJ, say hi. Okay. AJ enjoying his dinner. Coming up, the first picture of the reclusive Barbara Walters in months. All new interviews. Y'all just get home from work and um AJ fell asleep in the car, so I laid him on the bed, so he's on the bed asleep. So I'm gonna try to get all this in. Um Oh, he's napping a little bit and I'm going to wake him up. Um, this is random. But. 
they've started doing construction beside us and they cleared off all the woods y'all I'm not ready <laughs> I'm not ready <laughs> I like being on this side of the street by ourselves <laughs> Oh gosh, and they got a long stretch cleared out too. And the trucks, they're all out there now, smoothing everything out, very loud. I don't see how Hubby took a nap today. I don't see how he's taken a nap the past few days since they've been clearing all that. But anyway, um, well, I wanted to talk to y'all about a few things because um well obviously it's been a while since i posted a video the last vo video that i posted was the um the gender reveal and then it was kind of like i just <laughs> disappeared but um i haven't gone anywhere it's just um i don't know a lot of things just kind of i don't want to say like just piled on but a lot of things just came up. For one, I went back to work. So school started and so I'm back at work. So trying to figure out and, you know, balance everything and trying to get into the groove of things, get a routine going. Um, so I've been working on that. So now that I'm in the flow of, you know, back at work, now I can kind of like, you know, weave the flow of everything else along with that so that way everything just kind of flows together um another reason why <laughs> um i haven't posted in a while is um honestly i've been i've been having trouble with um my camera if y'all got some ideas or some suggestions recommendations for um a video camera I would definitely appreciate that um, because using the camera on my phone is basically I mean it's getting the job done right now but it's not um, it's not working the best way that I want it to work um, my major problem is I keep running out of memory so that kind of makes it hard to record videos and post videos and this video is um you know basically includes our road trip and i didn't get to record the entire road trip because i ran out of memory um <laughs> while we were out of town and so yeah so with all of that being said and just trying to get things done, um, trying to do things the way that I had them planned and it not working out to the way that I had things planned. Um, I basically built up a little bit of stress and I was stressing because there's like all these things that I'm trying to do, all these things that I want wanting to do, all these things that I have ideas for and and it's just it, it's it's so much and there's so many things that I need to uh to work on and um things I need to just sit down and prioritize and and then you know with pregnancy getting tired and sleepy at any moment of the day um, or, or even just randomly, you know, feeling nauseous. And then I've been dealing with this whole thing with dizziness. And so on top of, you know, trying to get all these things done, uh, having all these ideas that I'm trying to, you know, put into motion. And on top of that, you know, they're not feeling well and all of that. And it. It, it it's starting to cause or it started to cause um stress so i developed you know a little bit of stress and 
you know, worry and concern and feeling like, oh my God, how am I, how am I going to get all of this done? How am I going to do everything? I'm behind. I got to do this. I got to do that. When am I going to do this? Um, and then, you know, then get into the point where it's, it's like, you know what, I might as well just, I might as well just quit and just, I mean, what's the point? I, all it's going to do is if I miss something, I'm going to be stressed. And it's like, why try so hard when it's not even going to work out? So it's like, I might as well just stop. Why am I even trying? This morning on my way to work, um, I was listening to the radio. Um, I've been listening to the channel where they where they basically have like, you know, the, um, I don't know if y'all can hear the trucks out there. Oh, but they, they're working hard. Um, but I've been listening to the radio and listening to the station where they basically, um, have like different Bible studies going. So different people are on there talking about different topics and stuff. And <laughs> this morning on my way to work, they got me. And the topic was, um, <laughs> it was dealing with stress and, um, basically what stress means and how how we're supposed to handle and deal with stress and basically um what I got out of it was that <laughs> we're we're not supposed to stress at all and um and the guy that was talking, he mentioned like you know several things. His his um, point basically was, um, you know, giving everything to Jesus and you know, casting all your cares and your burdens on Him, and basically because He's our shepherd. And so he went into this whole explanation about you know what a sheep is. And oh my gosh, when he was saying all the stuff describing a sheep. I was like, wow. Like he was talking about how um like um which I didn't realize this, but like sheep they um I forgot the word that he used, but sheep they can easily like lose their balance. And so like if they're trying to like get down to like scratch their backs or something, they roll over on their backs and they can't they they can't get up and they're just stuck. Shepherd is there for that um he talked about how the sheep um they are restless they like to wander around like they just like to wander off and they may stay with the um the herd for a point of time but you let them <laughs> let you know leave them alone for a while they start to just wander and they end up in a, <laughs> a dangerous situation and the shepherd is needed for that to keep them together with the herd um, when they end up in a dangerous situation, sheep are not capable of defending themselves. And they need the shepherd for that. So he was going through, like, basically describing all these things about sheep. And I saw it as, which I'm pretty sure that was his point, but I saw it as how we <laughs> basically go through all these things and we do all these things, all these dumb things, and basically... With everything that we deal with, everything that we do, all of our downfalls, everything that we're not capable of doing, and all of our weaknesses, we need our shepherd. Jesus is our shepherd. And so then it brought me to all the stress that I've been feeling about, you know, everything. And it's like, you know, I it's really not that big of a deal. And if I'm behind on things, I can just catch up. I may not get everything caught up today. I may not get everything caught up this week. Um, but I can get everything caught up and it's, it's okay. It's okay. And the guy was talking about how, um, how the Lord lifts our burdens. Like we're still dealing with them. Um, and we're still having to, um, you know, of course, address the things that's going on in our lives, but we're not, when we hand them over to Jesus, we're not having to carry that weight. He lifts it for us. And so we're not, you know, bogged down by the weight of it all. So 
I can potty train my son and organize the finances and get everything planned out for the new baby without feeling the weight of it all. So because I've given it to Jesus and he's basically, you know, leading the way. So I give it to him and I, I let him lead. And so then everything gets done and I'm not carrying and feeling the, the weight and the pressure of it all. And um, so the thing that, that really <laughs> that really got me was when I realized that when we worry and have all these anxieties like this, basically what we are expressing is that we don't trust God. Because if we're worried and concerned about something, then we're, we're, we can't feel like God is going to handle it and take care of it and then be worried and terrified and scared and anxious all at the same time. So either I trust God is going to handle it, he's got this, casting my burdens, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to work itself out. So it's either that or, oh my gosh, I just, I can't do it. How's the house it going to all work out? When, when, when? And, um, <laughs> which is what I was finding myself doing. And so when <laughs> that realization hit me, it was like, whoa. And that's, that's, that's a major insult to God. And I, oh gosh. And I, I don't, I don't want to be that insult. And I have a little bit of an idea of how that actually feels because with me as a teacher, um, a lot of times my sixth graders, they tend to like, you know, freak out over the smallest little things and, you know, and I'm trying to tell them that it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. So for example, um, so let's say I have them, um, working on an assignment and one of them was absent the day before so they missed the previous assignment so then there's this kid that's freaking out because they're like i don't have yesterday's assignment and i tell them it's okay i got you but they're still freaking out like well, what am i supposed to do what is it how, how what am i supposed to get done is it gonna is it gonna count against me? Am I gonna fail? Am I gonna get a zero? And it's just like they're going on and on and on. I'm trying to tell them, chill out, it's okay. I got you, don't worry. And God is doing the same thing with us. And we're sitting here, you know, stressing out over stuff, and he's trying to tell us, like, if you just if you just give it over to me, I I got you. And we're still like just like we hear them, but we're still running around frantic like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And you know, and I, I can see that like with me and my students, so they they do the same thing, and then I have to like just stop them. Like, look, <laughs> it is okay. I have your assignment. I'm going to give it to you on Friday. We'll work together to make it up. And then you can turn it in and everything will be okay. And then they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> Where it's like, okay, if you would have, I told you before that it's okay. I got you. Don't even worry. If I'm the one putting in the grades and I'm telling you, don't worry, I got you. Why are you still worrying? So <laughs> God is the one that created us and is, is, the one that we're going to have to face for judgment. And he's telling us, you know, these things that's causing us to stress. Don't worry about it. I got you. Why are we still sitting there stressing? So, yes, yeah, so I was in the car this morning like, man, I done messed up. <laughs> Say hey. Say hey. <laughs> All right, y'all, I got AJ here with me. He's still waking up, but he's okay. He's okay. He'll probably start <laughs> running his mouth and talking and <laughs> squealing and everything in a little while. Um, But I did want to mention, with everything that I just talked about, I did want to um basically give um a few passages that um 
basically kind of like just bring the point home. Um, Psalm, Psalm 55 verse 22 says, cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. The other is Matthew 11 verse 30. So Matthew chapter 11 verse 30 and it reads, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And the last one um, that I want to read is 1 Peter chapter 5, um, verse 7. So 1 Peter 5 and 7, and it reads, Casting all your anxiety. So there he goes. Hi. <laughs> Um, casting all your anxieties or worries on him because he cares for you. So that's twice that we are casting um, our cares, our burdens onto the Lord and he will sustain us. Why? Because he, he cares for us. So it's like, why are we sitting here worrying and stressing? Why am I sitting here worrying and stressing when there's someone that cares enough for me to carry the burden for me? Isn't that right? Isn't it right? Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Tell everybody they got to cast their burdens unto the Lord, right? You give your puppy kiss. Give the puppy kiss. Nope, you're gonna poke the puppy's eyes out. Give the puppy a kiss. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm just going to throw it on the floor. So, yeah. So, we're just in here hanging out in the office. We're getting ready to eat. You ready to eat? Well, you shouldn't be hungry because I think you already ate with Daddy. Mommy needs to eat. Mommy's starving. Nope. So, you're just going to throw all the stuffed animals on the floor? Yep. Just going to throw them on the floor. There's AJ. Is he gonna smile? Yeah, is he gonna smile? Oh, I saw it. Oh, I saw it. I see it is right there. Yes, it is. It's right there. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> There's that laughter. Yeah. <laughs> and see y'all when he woke up doing all that crying I could have stressed out then like oh my gosh why are you doing all this crying why won't you stop but it's okay he just woke up he just needed some time right right <laughs> AJ like man mama get that camera off me Oh, you about to whine again? Yeah, you want me to get the camera off of you? <laughs> okay, well, let me go eat because I am hungry. I'm going to eat. I'm going to help mommy eat. You want to play with the camera again? Mm -hmm. Look at that smile. Look at that smile. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the rest of the video. Ha, 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 ha.